Joe Biden is very much alive. What's up, guys? Your boy Benny. So, politics is just effectively a large popularity contest, all the way back to one of the first presidential elections, Thomas Jefferson versus John Adams. Thomas Jefferson wins because people like liked him better. John Adams was kind of an asshole. And it, it, it just spiraled since then, right? Into the era of Barack Obama and Donald Trump. It really is, I mean, truly a massive popularity contest with, with massive power on the other end of that competition, victorious. And so, uh, well, it's important to be popular. It's important to also, uh, you know, follow the trends. And politicians are very thin-skinned people. Just a, a, the, a, the wrong headline in the Washington Post and the New York Times could turn them on a dime on an issue. They are cravenous, awful individuals. And so if you do follow trends, as all modern politicians do, this is the kind of trend you definitely don't want to see about yourself. Uh, is Joe Biden alive? Let's, let's say you were Joe Biden. Th this is the thing you wouldn't want to see. Now, there <laughs> it is Joe Biden. So every time he falls down a flight of stairs, there's a little spike here. And then in the last 24 hours, there's been this parabolic skyrocket where people are asking, is Joe Biden alive? Now, uh, that's from Google. The Babylon Bee, of course, making light of this, asking America's just kind of curious if the president is alive. The reason why that's happening and why members of Congress are demanding proof of life, <clears throat> as Lauren Boebert did right here, is because the last time we saw Joe Biden, he was incapable of doing the stairs. The last time we saw Joe Biden, he was incapable of lifting his feet to get up a staircase. The last time we saw Joe Biden, he needed Secret Service to literally hoist his body into a vehicle like he was FDR. The official statement was that he got COVID, but that was all a massive effing lie. They threw Joe Biden's uh, ba like barely sentient, lukewarm body into the back of Air Force One, into the steerage of Air Force One, and jetted across the country so fast that the plane was shaking the entire time after canceling a speech in Las Vegas. Joe Biden's own brother says, we're really excited to uh, enjoy the time we have left with Joe Biden. This is what Joe Biden's brother says. Frank Biden says, he'll have Joe Biden back for whatever time he has left. Not what you say about a healthy person. Of course, breaking today is a exclusive report that Joe Biden suffered some type of undisclosed horrific medical emergency in Las Vegas, which has been followed up as uh, effectively a mini stroke, according to reporters at Red State. Uh, so Joe Biden has some type of so th there's some type of horrible thing that has happened to Joe Biden. Is this why Joe Biden's signature looks totally different than his normal signature? Here's a normal Joe Biden signature. Here's what was on that little document that was shoved out to the American people. And more important, ladies and gentlemen, um, who made that decision, right? Like, like who posted this exactly? Joe Biden's brother saying he hopes to enjoy whatever time we have left. <laughs> Is Joe Biden terminal? Well, I guess we'll find out. And one of the first times uh, that we could find out was with Kamala Harris traveling. Kamala Harris did events for Joe Biden yesterday at the White House. And then Kamala Harris headed off on an unplanned trip to Delaware. What exactly did she discuss with Joe Biden? Well, of course, you got to do, you, you got to like, you got to do something in order to prove that the campaign is alive and well, right? You got, you got to, got to do something. So you got to come up with some excuse for Kamala Harris to go to Delaware. And the excuse they came up with was that Kamala Harris was going to give a speech to the uh, Harris for president now campaign headquarters, and that she was going to talk with Joe Biden over a cell phone on a cell phone conversation. And that didn't go great. All right. Here's Kamala Harris arriving into the fake presidential campaign office here. All right, got it. We're so excited. Not a single person voted for you, but we're so excited for you. We're so excited about you. And Joe Biden then called in. The reason I put quotes on called in, and I'll show you this in just a second, is that there, there seems to be some strange, some strange data on this phone call. 
and this phone call being potentially AI or some type of recording. The reason why I say that is because, well, Kamala Harris called it a recording. You can see here in this clip of Kamala Harris talking to Joe that she says, you know, Joe, you're still on the recording call right now, live. Let's watch. Thank you all. Thank you. Um, can we just give it up again for my husband? <laughs> Look at that fake accent coming back with a vengeance. Um, it is so good to hear our president's voice. Joe, I know you're still on the, on the call, and we've been talking every day. Um, you probably, you guys heard it from Doug's voice. We love Joe and Jill. We really do. They truly Let's hear it one more time, just real fast. Our president's voice. Joe, I know you're still on the on the call. On the Rick, on the Rick, 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 what? And we've been talking every day. Um, you probably, you guys heard it from Doug's voice. We love Joe and Jill. We really do. They truly are like family to us. So do we. And we do, everybody here does. It's mutual. <laughs> I knew you were still there. You know. <laughs> I'm watching you, kid. I'm watching you, kid. I love you. I love you, Joe. Uh, okay. So, jo so that was like you hear these like little you hear these little blips of Joe Biden's like voice. You see Kamala Harris in total pain here. It's <laughs> mutual. <laughs> Look at it. Look. I knew you were still there. You know. Is that the look of somebody who's actually legitimately happy? This is not the look of someone who's happy. This is the look of somebody who's in major pain right now. Kamala Harris uh, is very nervous at this moment. Something's gone horribly wrong. This is not. This is not somebody who's actually glad about anything. This is somebody who's scared. You can tell. You can see it in the body language. But more importantly, what if, you know, what if the recording went wrong, right? Like here, members of Congress saying this, uh, uh, Joe, you're still on the recording call. Did Kamala just spill the beans? What was the recording? That's what she started to say. Ben Carson, the number one neurosurgeon in world history, right? That's probably the most accomplished neurosurgeon in the history of the planet. Uh, who knows the condition of the President Biden? We haven't even seen him in days. One thing we do know at the moment, DEI is alive and well. Okay, well, what about AI? Apparently, according to AI, uh, there's a popular voice cloning tool called Eleven Labs that you can see if something is AI or not based on signatures of the recording. And here's what this X user found out. Check it out. <laughs> Took Joe Biden's voice. I know yesterday's news was surprising and, uh, and it's hard for you to hear, but it was the right thing to do. It's, uh, it, I, I know it's hard because you poured your heart and soul into me. Okay. Let's just go on old 11 Labs and see if that's really all they probably used for this. So, and upload. There we go. And let's see what we got. Yeah, looks like uh, they didn't even really try. So this says probably a probability is 89% likely uh, that that audio was generated with AI. This is the fakest thing I've ever seen. Kamala Harris almost said recording and stopped. It's definitely a recording. Where's Joe Biden? Have Democrats been caught? Executive producer ALS. When you let it slip. That the proof of life phone call is actually a recording. <laughs> Eesh. Oh my. Google searches for is Biden dead surges past donate to Kamala. Oh my. <laughs> never, never a great sign. <laughs> Gosh. So as of moments ago, Joe Biden did actually show his face in public. I want to make sure that we are up to date here. Joe Biden did show his face in public. Um, but that doesn't, you know, he, he looked terrible, by the way. He can barely walk. Well, there you go. Here's your here's your Joe Biden, barely able, barely able to walk. 
uh, across this, what is 10 feet to the stairway. <laughs> Ugh, man. People saying he had a stroke there. People saying he has a transient ischemic attack. A TIA is what many are predicting that Joe Biden suffered. And maybe that's why they have to clone his voice, do an AI, or do a fake phone call. We're not exactly sure. We are we are sure that uh, Fox News super base Harrison Faulkner saying that uh, the, the, the call from yesterday uh, may have been a recording. She said this live on Fox. Finally, we'll get to hear directly from the president on his withdrawal. Uh, we haven't seen him. We know he issued uh, a statement, and people saw that on social media. We know that uh, there was some sort of either live or, or recorded call Based. in to a Kamala Harris event yesterday, but we have. <laughs> okay. Why not, man? They've scripted everything else. They've scripted everything else. Everything else is fake. It's all fake. So why not, dude? Why not? Fake presidency? And there's nothing beyond these people. Why should this shock us? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. It's your boy Ben. Like, share, and subscribe.